guys, I've been procrastinating all day. I'm so nervous. I don't really know where to start with this, this. I, I'm pretty sure that I want to start on the wrecked car because it's more likely, or I think it's less likely that we'll be reusing stuff from the wrecked Skyline. So if I mess anything up, I, I probably won't be so upset about it. I'm learning with all this stuff. We've never done any frame repair. I, I've only removed like 30 or 40 spot welds off of the S14 that's been in the back. I, I don't know. Hopefully we can figure it out. I think I'm going to start off by trying to take off one of these kind of box end pieces close to the A-pillar in the windshield on the wrecked car. Uh, so I have two spot weld cutter kits uh, available to me. Thankfully, Sam Squanch thought of this before I did, and he went ahead and ordered these two kits. Okay, so here we have our two kits. Uh, this is the cheaper of the two. This is more like what you'd get if you bought uh, something at Harbor Freight. This guy has this uh, little, oh damn, this isn't even spring loaded. So this guy has a little like uh, center punch sort of, I, I don't even, I don't even know what you call it. But these bits are decent because you can unscrew them and you can flip them around and use them two ways. And it comes with five, six of them, which is pretty cool. So as long as you don't overheat these, supposedly these are pretty, pretty dang good. But these guys are the extra fancy ones. And it seems that they drill all the way through um, on their own, which is kind of neat. Uh, so you just need to do like a little center punch and then you can just drill through one panel. And then these guys drill around the spot welds. Yeah, you basically just want to go through one sheet. So like if you were trying to take off this panel, which is what I think we're going to start with, um, you'd want to go through this, this one sheet and then pull it out and then when you're done you'd basically take like a like a scraper and just scrape around the panel break the the rest of the spot welds and hopefully be able to pull the whole thing off so right here I also have this guy this is a, a little center punch sort of spring loaded dealio you pull back one side and when you let it go it knocks the other side down into the piece of metal and makes a nice nice little mark in the metal for you to start your your spot weld drilling still super nervous I like actually have butterflies this is weird I'm just gonna start marking out spot welds though and uh, yeah <laughs> wish me luck I just went around this panel and I, I did a little tappy tappy on most of the spot welds. I think I'm going to go ahead and mark out all of the spot welds on this guy too because I'm kind of having fun. Attached to the drill I have uh, the cheaper of the two spot weld drill bit guys and also, I decided that I'm going to try to take off this brace guy first because this guy was like pretty severely bent in the crash. So it's very unlikely we'll be reusing this piece. So I've given myself the freedom to mess it up. Uh, I'm gonna go for, for one of these. It's important. Got a little juice in there. Let's give this Jimmy a jump. Wow! Ah! Scary. I feel like I just broke through the first layer, so I'm gonna stop on that guy. We're gonna move on.
Oh. There you go. That time I felt it go through the lair. Or at least I thought I did. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm tripping. Thought I felt some cracks though. Unfortunately, the drill just died. But for the sake of seeing if we managed to get through uh, a single sheet, uh, I just want to give this a little tap. This is not the tool that uh, I, I would like to use for the rest of this. Uh, I just haven't gone out and, and gotten any. Oh, there we go. We went through one layer. It looks like we went almost perfectly through one layer right there. Look at that. Funny. Funny that, huh? Pretty neat, guys. Well, yeah, looks like there's a spot weld right in there somewhere. Oh, yep, I, I marked it out. I just didn't even see it. There was a chip over it. With a couple of the spot welds out, we got some stuff loose. Nice. It's a lot less scary now. I've been like totally like terrified to start working all day because, man, I don't want to fuck this shit up. I really like this car. I'm gonna go get dinner uh, with my family tonight and I gotta get to bed early as well because uh, I got called in to the print shop tomorrow. So I'll take you guys into work and uh, and then we'll come back and get started on this stuff uh, ASAP. <laughs> What's up guys, we're back from work and uh, got a new drill. We got a, a Bauer drill. This guy is a variable speed drill and it was $15 more than the drill I was planning on getting. Uh, I was just gonna get like Harbor Freight's cheapest variable speed drill, but this thing is a little bit more, um, but you can like get anywhere with this thing. I mean, it's pretty, pretty small, pretty compact. Hopefully it'll be really nice for taking out all these spot welds. Anyway, I'm gonna continue working on this uh, this brace that I started at the beginning of the video. And hopefully we'll be able to get this guy off nice and clean with the new drill. Do this guy. That's so wild. <laughs> it's so cool. The new drill seems to work pretty good. There's another one. Now it's getting to the point where we're finding spot welds. Forget.
Look at that. We got some, uh, some bracage. Uh, one, <laughs> one chunk of skyline off. It, it, it looks like we didn't totally roach out this piece too, which is cool. Um, successful little practice, man. Nice. I'm cool with that. And I only drilled out one spot weld that wasn't actually a spot weld. So that's, that's good. This one was not a spot weld. <laughs> right on, man. I'm pretty stoked about this. One chunk down. Man, I'm pretty stoked about how this all turned out. It definitely took a little bit, uh, partially because I was just being scared and partially because drilling out spot welds does seem to take a bit. Um, <laughs> but I'm feeling much less scared about taking out all these spot welds now. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. I feel like I can actually kind of feel when the drill bit's coming through the first layer. Yeah, feeling much more confident and I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. That's cool. It's cool that we started. Uh, I appreciate that much. In the next video, we're gonna start getting jiggy with things. We're gonna really like get into it. Um, now that I'm not a total bitch, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get like a good chunk of this car off of this car in the next video. So. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Still a little nervous, but much more excited than I was uh, at the beginning of the video. Saving the skyline, guys. I'm, I'm pumped. It's, it's going to be cool. Once again, I want to say thank you guys for all your super nice comments and all, that, all the super helpful comments as well. There's a lot of comments now, which is pretty crazy. Like, maybe so many that I can't respond to all of them which is like kind of wild. It's never been that way before. Just want you guys you guys to know that I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like. Tell a friend about the channel if you're digging it. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll get some real work done and uh, hopefully get a good chunk of this bad boy out of here. Adios, guys. Got him. Just kidding.